Hello, welcome to IT Chronicles, Ted of Tech. I'm Shane Carlson. I'm here with my co-host, Kirsten McGowan and Kathleen Wilson. Hi, Shane. Hello. And hey. uh, we're, here, we're here today with Jed Ayers from uh, iGel. Uh, you know, and he's here to talk to us a little bit about uh, endpoint management uh, and you know, kind of some of the things they're doing in the virtual desktop space uh, that seems to be pretty unique. Jed? Well, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate the uh, opportunity to be with you. Excellent. T tell us a little bit about what you guys are, are doing in the space that's this unique. Um, you know, we, we've, we've looked at some of the technology that you're doing, and I know virtual desktop, uh, the, the whole space has kind of changed, uh, especially as, as we start moving to different types of devices. And, you know, I, I've, I've been in technology long enough to see, you know, uh, virtual desktop computing kind of come and go in a variety of formats. You know, it, ultimately everything from kind of, you know, terminals, green screens on AS400s and mainframes to, uh, you know, using Citrix the clients uh, on, on some of these devices and, you know, seeing every end of the spectrum. But what are the kind of the big innovations in the space right now? And what are you guys doing to kind of move some of that along? Yeah, so iGel has actually been around the uh, end user compute space and thin clients, traditional thin clients for over 20 years. It's a German based company. So a lot of people in the US really have never really uh, been exposed to iGel. A lot of the marketing and the, the main organization was really European focused. So over the last uh, year and a half, we've made a huge expansion into the US. And what we're finding is that there's a very big appetite for the software based approach that we're we're going after the traditional thin client market with. So uh, iGel is really a, a software company is what I came to find out. And I've been in the end user compute space both on the channel side and on the uh, technology side for the last 20 years, different uh, companies on, on both sides of the equation and really hadn't been exposed to iGel very much in the US either, right? So what we're finding is that uh, when told correctly, uh, when the story's told correctly, iGel is a software company with a very secure 64-bit Linux operating system that's extensible to really any x86 device out there. And then uh, that device can be you know, managed with a policy-based approach that's very simple and quite granular. Uh, that there's a big appetite in the enterprise, not only for people that are deploying Citrix and VMware and Microsoft technologies, but also for people that are starting to look at deploying those technologies uh, with cloud-based solutions, either kind of managed DAS solutions or uh, solutions from Amazon or Microsoft out of Azure or AWS. So that, that's really what we're finding. And what's amazing to me is that, uh, you know, I landed in, uh, in this role about a year and a half ago. We built out a team that went from 14 to we'll have about 60 people in the U.S. Uh, going into next year. And we've got some of the best partners in the end user compute space and we're growing our software business at almost four digits uh, for a complete year. So it's really, and we're finding that it's the largest enterprises that are deploying this technology at scale that uh, it's resonating the, the most with. So what's, what's the biggest benefit for, a, for an organization to move to, to this type of technology? So there's, what we see is there's really three benefits today, right? The first, is people buy, buy things to save money or make money typically, right? And we can save people a lot of money by repurposing fu fully uh, capable x86 infrastructure that they may have been you know, throwing away after three to five years. That uh, equipment is usually very much powerful enough to run our software, which is a very light one gig operating system. So anything that has two gigs of hard drive and two gigs of RAM can run our operating system. And in some cases, like with older laptops, it actually runs more effectively than it did out of the box. Longer memory life and certainly a higher, speedier performance. So that's the first reason people buy is to save money. And you know, uh, we, we see companies saving millions of dollars by repurposing hardware. Secondly, uh, there's a huge OPEX savings. Um, because it's a Linux operating system and because we have an elegant way to push updates and patch um, any device with our operating system, you don't need an army of people like you do with Windows devices, right? So we have one customer in the retail space, 5,000 stores, 30,000 endpoints managed by one person. That would be unheard of with a Windows environment. And then the third reason people buy this stuff is security, right? It's, it's all the, uh, the markets that are highly regulated. So healthcare, finance, government, places where there's a lot of uh, risk at the end point, if, if you know, information 
or IP goes into the wrong hands. And so iGel has an operating system that's never been breached, read-only, highly secure, Linux-based operating system. And so those, the security is actually taken on an even bigger kind of prominence in terms of why people are buying into this technology as GDPR, some of these other you know, uh, regulatory things are headed at people. So, so, so Jen, I, I had a question a little bit, uh, a little bit about the scenario, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, I saw the benefits, but what would be a, a point where a customer should reach out and talk to you? Like, cause everybody wants to save money. Everybody wants to be more secure, but you know, what's like, you know, am I struggling? So from my perception is like, if you have aging hardware and you, and you still want to leverage it, is this the right customer? So how, what's the customer scenario, you know, what would fit best with Agile? Yeah, so a lot of times we're seeing people look at Windows 10, right? And how they're going to migrate to Windows 10. And like, that's a big shift, right? Uh, and Windows 10, uh, or Windows 7 isn't that very far off from actually end of life, right? Um, I think it's, um, sometime in 2020, early 2020, that that goes end of life. So we have large populations of people that are like, I don't want to deal with the Windows XP scenario again, right? And so when they do look at their entire end user compute strategy, they start to think about delivering it through, you know, VDI or streamed applications in a more, you know, a simpler, more secure way to deliver that. And that's typically when we get, get involved, right? And so, so uh, we draft quite a bit off of both Citrix and VMware um, as they, you know, um, have, they've gotten a lot better at delivering these solutions, right? Everybody said, oh, the year of VDI, I think they've been saying that since about 2012, right? But what I will tell you with hyper-converged technologies and with all the acquisitions that you've seen both VMware and Citrix make, the actual consumption and complexity of these technologies has gone way down. And so oftentimes we're kind of entering into a, a discussion around, you know, is there a bit more of a use case for VDI uh, as we look at Windows 10 and our overall end user compute uh, strategy? That's when we get involved. And then obviously the other place people are looking at is Azure and AWS and uh, you know, consuming this out of the cloud potentially as well. So, 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 Jan, what's the typical use case where you start the conversation with customers? You know, we kind of touched on the, the business value and the other things, but where do people start with this? I, I know there's a lot of fear uh, around deviating from some of the core standard operating systems like, uh, you know, the Mac OS and, and Windows. You know, what's, where do people start with this and how do you help overcome their fears of not having that, that uh, robust traditional operating system on the desktop? Yeah, so I mean, we still obviously believe that Windows is a very powerful operating system. We just believe that it belongs in the data center, right, where it can be managed in, in a much more, you know, uh, with one instance, right, or several instances versus thousands. Um, and, you know, Linux and, and iGel on the, on the edge is a, is a much more palatable, elegant way to have securely manage at scale tens of thousands of endpoints. And so... Uh, how, how people usually entertain working with us is that we've made it really easy to actually download the operating system. You can download three free licenses and you just you know, take a, an old device and convert it, or we'll ship you our, our hardware. We still actually do ship you know, thin client hardware as well. There are use cases still where you know, it makes sense to, to ship an all-in-one or even a, a, you know, one of our uh, thin client appliances. And, you know, th this is really where having a, a team of people and like I said, the growth that we've had this year, we have a team of almost 60 people. We really surround people with uh, smart, you know, architects and uh, solution, you know, solution providers that, that are really, you know, understand this space so that they do a POC. That's typically how all of our sales are, are done. And in fact, if there isn't a POC, I, I would uh, usually get a little scared, right? Because... Uh, every environment is a little different, a little unique, and the applications and use cases and, and what they're trying to do is a little different. So that's where I, iGel excels, right? We have people that have decades of experience in architecting and managing this stuff. And so, you know, download it. We'll have a team of people that will sort of darken the skies to help you make it work. And uh, that's typically the entry point, right, is to, uh, to download it or contact us via our website. And uh, we take it from there. Yeah, thanks. Well, it's been 
It's been very interesting, especially, I mean, I've certainly found it really interesting talking to you this morning, having supported a thin client environment many years ago. The world has obviously changed a lot in the last uh, 10 or 15 years since I was in that environment. So, you know, thanks a lot for your time this morning. I, I think we've all, uh, all learned a lot from it. Yeah, well, I appreciate the opportunity. Anytime I can tell the iGel story and it gets out there to more people, that's what we're, we're after, right? A lot of people just haven't heard of iGel in the U.S. and we're taking significant market share from some of the names that you you know and love out there from technology perspective. Well, thanks a lot, Jed. You're welcome. Thank you.